Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. I spent the last couple of days just tinkering, tinkering around with uh, the machine here, knowing that full well that I will have to disassemble it all and rebuild it once I get my new parts in, which I still don't have. But yeah, I got the electronics working. Everything runs. I've got my extruder up top right here, sitting right there, because I still haven't figured out a way to to bond the extruder to the nozzle. So I'm still working on that. Got all my motors up and running. Got my X motor. My Y motors in the back. My Z motor. And if you're wondering why I can't just use this build, this printer as is, uh, you'll see when I activate the Z axis that the Z and you know, all the motors work fine. It's the gears that are really bad. So maybe if I had a full new set of gears maybe it would work right and a new uh, X carriage I don't know if you can tell in the video that X carriage is pretty tore up I had to do some drilling out to get some cap nuts out because they just weren't coming out so yeah that I mean I could use this theoretically but it's gonna make really crappy prints so let me just show you what goes on here let's do one millimeter movements that's the X carriage. Let's do 10 millimeter. And that will go all the way down to the end. But I've learned that if I go all the way down, the opto flag will catch and it'll continue going that direction, but then it won't go back. So let me show you what I mean. And then I'll have to unplug it and reset it. Okay, so right now that opto flag's in there. I cannot back it up, but I can forward it. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's, it's forwarding by 0.1 millimeter. See, it runs right into it. So I'm not too sure what that's about. I'll have to figure that out. Let's see what else we got going on here. My Y, it's pretty much the smoothest one I have. That's pretty smooth. And I don't have a opto flag on this approaching end. I have an opto flag on the other side. So I think I need to go backward. And that is my smoothest one. Let me see if it'll stop when it's supposed to. Sounds like it. Okay, let me show you how the Z carriage works right now. It's not super great. I'm gonna go by one millimeter. Probably not enough for you to tell what's going on there, so let me zoom in. It is going up. Look at this nastiness. See how awful that is? It should not be wobbling that much. And I'm worried that will affect the quality of my prints. And let me just go up by 10. 10, 10 millimeters to show you the sounds that come out of this thing. So I'm not, I'm not too sure if it's supposed to sound like that. So that's what it sounds like. I do have the extruder up here. It works. Not too much to show though. Yeah, extruder. And the other way. Super, I know. So everything looks like it's working, but again, these are not the parts I'll be using. I'll have to get that new set and rebuild this whole thing from scratch, which I hope will be a lot easier. So everything's there. I'll show you how I wired it up on the back. If I can spin this without breaking anything. This does use Gen 6 electronics. I've had some trouble getting the lengths right, trying to get perfect position for that board <clears throat> but it's all there all right that's all i got for today thanks see you tomorrow